stepping into the future of lasers. Now, an engineering research program at UNL is working with a one-of-a-kind tool in the United States. Professors at the center where it's housed say the laser can be used for all kinds of things, from aerospace materials to materials you can find in your phone. 1011 Chanel Taylor McCarthy had the chance to see it and learn how it works. Lasers on their own are pretty impressive, and this is not your average beam. This laser leaps over the obstacle of widespread use in other industries, improving scalability or the ability to be produced in a range of capabilities. The new laser at UNL Center for Electro-Optics and Functionalized Surfaces is a game changer. We can use the laser to then scan a surface and we create some texture on the surface that, that gives the surface certain properties. Professor Greg Zulke says there's a multitude of avenues this could be useful for, like thermal management for cooling electronic devices, anti-icing surfaces in aerospace applications, and power lines to prevent power outages. It's also used for creating special material for NASA for fuel delivery in space. So it's kind of this big fuel tank, uh, but in zero gravity, again, there's nothing pushing the fluid down towards a specific point. So you have to use things like uh, roughness and chemistry to, to direct the fluid. Others at the center, like Dr. George Gogos, credit the combined expertise of experts in specific disciplines like thermal management to material science. It's all made possible through funding from agencies like NASA and companies like Boeing, something he says Nebraska taxpayers would appreciate. You can learn more about other functions and applications of the new laser on UNL's website. We have a direct link to it under this story at 1011now.com.